Good morning, everybody. This is Guillermo with Live Trading with Guillermo. Today is Thursday, July 25th. Running the Ripper XAI Pro. Three contracts. Automatic stop and target enabled. Volatility shield disabled. So basically the same settings I've been running for a while. Uh, this is a little bit of a more of aggressive way to run the bot because you're not going to filter as many trades, but you can also be done a lot quicker. And because I have uh, camp again with the guys, taking them to camp this morning and tomorrow, I'm just going to continue to trade these settings. So I waited just a couple minutes after the open. You know, right after the open, there's usually a change in direction. It, you know, the market was going down and I thought it was going to make an up move. So I, I switched over to trend mode and I kept it there thinking it was going to go long and it didn't. It just kept going short. So then what I did is I switched over to momentum mode and make sure I had my target one, target two enabled. And then the software just did its thing. So I, I missed the trade just prior to my first trade. So actually it could have been done even sooner than what I was, but I was done in four minutes. So it was pretty, pretty nice. So I, I switched over, like I said, to momentum, took the first trade and it was a nice one. I, I lost a little profit on the pullback when the trade closed out, uh, but I, I didn't want to risk giving up a big, a big run. So I didn't move my stop. Hindsight being 2020, I could have preserved some of that profit, but that's okay because then it took the second trade and then that one hit my kill switch. Again, I did not move my stop and it gave up some of the profit. So it ended up closing out at $920 uh, net uh, for the morning, four minutes. So as always, I always, always want to remind you folks that once you have reached your daily target, that you go ahead and stop. So the rule is, is if the bot stops because you've met your profit target or it can happen, but you could have a losing day and uh, you will have a losing day. And when that happens, you need to shut it off as well. So once you have met your parameters for profit or loss, then you need to stop. And I definitely uh, got my profit again. This time it was super quick. So as you can see on screen, this is my first trade and it was a nice one. It hit target one and then target two ran. So I kept pushing tar target two down to see if I could squeeze more out of that trade, but um, it stopped out. And then the next trade, it hesitated a little bit once it entered. And then the I, I just let it I just let the bot do its thing. Like I was tempted to move my stop. I was tempted to flatten out the trade, but then I just decided to just let the bot do its thing. And I did. And I'm so glad I did because it hit target one, as you're about to see right here. Uh, once target one is hit, most of your profit is locked in and then you're only leaving one contract as a runner. So once it hit that target, I, I just started moving my target two, trying to move it out of the way and give myself a chance to, for a runner. Um, I didn't get a big runner, but that's okay. Target met 920 bucks and I was done for the morning. So with that, folks, I hope you have a great day and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care now. Bye.